Hi everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to go over a couple little things here. Um, I have actually planted that, um, I've, well, we have kind of figured out through the help of Tara's tanks that, uh, that that is a crypt and I've actually kind of moved it up uh, a little bit. I kind of, kind of lifted it up a little bit based on her recommendation uh, to try to get, um, I don't know, she just recommended that. <laughs> Uh, so I've gone ahead and done that. There's also something else that I've done. I went ahead, um, since my air pump uh, does have, you know, the two airlines, I went ahead and put an air stone back here. You see that Christmas moss back underneath there? And then these bubbles are, the, um, the air stone is back behind there. So you can't really see it. Um, the reason why I did this is that the, the large clump of Christmas moss that's in my 55 gallon, um, I actually had it leaned up against that air stone that I have in there that has the splitter on it. So it's basically two different air stones. Um, well, the Corydoras absolutely loved that. I mean, they went crazy over it. So, you know, I've got 18 pygmy quarries in here. I mean, again, you can't even see them because there are so many good hiding spots for them. That cave is just, I mean, incredible. <laughs> but also, so I was I was thinking, you know, if I really want to try to see some breeding going on here with these pygmy quarries, that that aeration going through that moss is something that they really, really liked over in the 55 gallon. Oh, look at that peacock gudgeon just went underneath that katapa leaf. Huh. How funny. Okay, uh, more narrate snails there, of course. Uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm really hoping that that's the case here. Now, of course, I realize I've got the, the peacock gudgeon. I've got the bamboo shrimp, which I just saw in here a couple of minutes ago. I don't know where he's at now. Uh, but then I've also got the pandagara. He was just right here. How strange. Um, but yes, he was just right here. Um, but so yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know if I've kind of shot myself in the foot with, uh, getting, you know, any breeding going on with the pygmy quarries or anything. Um, I won't be devastated if we don't get any breeding. I'm trying to find that pandagar that was just here. He's probably up underneath his katapa leaf as well. Uh, they are not shy. And these, the pandagars are not shy. The two in my 55 gallon are getting along absolutely wonderful. Um, and then this one is absolutely doing great in here as well. Um, the nitrates in this tank, um, as of last night, they were about 10 parts per million. This, uh, today, this earlier this morning, they were even less than 10 parts per million. So, uh, the nitrates have really come under control, but look at here, I've still got all this green algae, this green hair algae. This looks better. Um, you know, I've got the green hair algae on that uplift tube and everything. So, um, I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. I mean, all these narrate snails, uh, you know, the panda guard that's in here now, although he is tiny, uh, should be eating some of the algae. Although he is an omnivore, he doesn't just eat algae. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I was thinking here. That's the way I was going, the direction I was going is with, um, with this aeration coming through this moss that really seemed to excite the uh, the corridors um, in the other tank. Of course, they weren't pygmy quarries in, in the 55 gallon. Um, but that is all that's going on for right now. Um, the I really like that, um, that Petit Anubius. That was like a free sample plant. Um, I just stuffed the roots into that chola wood. Um, thinking about getting another Anubius and sticking it in that hole right there. Uh, it's got a pretty big hole right there. Um, I think I could stick some Anubius roots down in there. Uh, just add more plants wherever I can. But yeah, um, so there's a root tab down in here. The And I'm ho really hoping that this will take off. You know, I mean, I never wanted um, anything planted in the substrate in this tank. Um, but I've kind of left that behind. And if this takes off... You know, I may be talking about re re rearranging the entire tank and just going for, you know, get some sort of, uh, I don't know, carpet uh, plant or something and just going all planted in here. Um, that, But, I mean, that would take... I mean, there's been so... Been, I've been done so much to get it to this point in this kind of not... not I want to call it a biotope, but, um, 
but I've just I've gotten it to this point after such a major disaster happened with all of that string algae um, that was just horrible. Um, but I can't believe it's even at this point. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. Thank you for joining and or thank you for tuning in. And I hope you all have a great rest of the day or evening. Take care. Bye-bye.